Welcome to this tutorial discussing fuels and transactions. The purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate how to enter fuel and transaction information in preparation for submitting quarterly fuel reports in the CFP online system. To start, we will need to click on the CFP Reports tab. This is the quarterly reports main page for the CFP online system. This page is comprised of a year selection at the top and a grid pertaining to that year selection on the bottom. The grid will display all of the current reports and their current statuses. In order to begin a new quarterly report, choose the year and quarter you need, then click the Begin Report link. This will take us to the CFP Quarterly Reports Detail page. The page contains three sections, the Upload Report button, the Add Fuels section, and the Upload Documents section. The Upload Report button allows users to upload a report in XML or Excel format. The Fuels section allows users to input associated fuels for a quarter, and the Upload section allows for the upload of any required documents. First, let's go over the Add Fuels section. The CFP online system requires that fuels be added first, and then the associated transactions can be attached to them. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate the adding of gasoline and renewable diesel, and then I'll add transactions to these fuels. First, I will add gasoline. I will select gasoline from the Fuel Name drop-down menu, and then I will select the associated fuel application. In this case there's only one. Then I will select the applicable fuel pathway code. To complete the adding of this fuel, I will click Add Fuel and we can see that the fuel of gasoline has been added onto the grid below. Next, I will add renewable diesel. Then I will select the fuel application as well as one fuel pathway code. And once again, I will simply click Add Fuel and it will appear on the grid below. What you'll notice from the grid is that once you've added a fuel, it cannot be edited. If you need to make any changes, you must first delete the fuel and then re-add it. The effect of deleting a fuel will also delete any associated transactions. In order to delete, simply click the, the X on the right-hand side. To demonstrate, I'll delete gasoline. And as we can see, gasoline has been deleted. I'll quickly re-add this fuel and then we can move on to the transactions. In order to access the transactions for any given fuel, you simply click the Go to Details link and it will take you to the Fuel Transaction Detail page. On this page, there is a transaction grid where you will see information about your transactions once they are added. To add one, click the Add Transaction button. Upon clicking the button, you'll notice that the Transaction Details form pops up. This Transaction Details form consists of nine fields, each of which I will explain. The first field is the transaction date, which indicates the date of the contract. The second field is the business partner drop-down, and this is the area where you can indicate the associated organization to this transaction. You can click the first letter of the organization you're searching for in order to more quickly locate it. 
The next field is the transaction type field. The transaction type indicates the action that was performed by this particular transaction. We'll select production in Oregon for this example. The next field is an optional field, which is the biofuel facility field. And this is used to indicate the biofuel facility that was involved in the production of the biofuel for the transaction. The next field is the transaction quantity, which is the amount of fuel that is being transacted. Next we have the physical pathway code, which indicates the means by which the fuel was brought to Oregon. And next we have the transaction number. This number represents the unique identifier for a transaction. This will be generated for you, but it can also be entered in manually. The purpose for entering the transaction number manually is mostly for users who are going to be using the batch upload method and need to edit a particular transaction manually. For people who are only going to be using the user interface based entry, it is recommended that you simply use the system generated number. Next we have the transaction is an aggregated amount checkbox. This field simply indicates whether the transaction is an aggregate. Finally, there is a transaction description field, which is an area where any additional remarks can be added for the given transaction. In order to add the fuel, simply click the Add button. And we can see the fuel has been added to the grid. For any transactions, edits can be made by clicking the Edit link and as we can see, the information will be brought back up to the form. You can make any edits and click the Update Transaction button. And in order to delete, click the X under the Delete column. Click OK to confirm and the transaction will be deleted. In this case, I won't actually delete the transaction and will instead hit Cancel. Now we'll go back to the Quarterly Report Details page by clicking Back to Fuel Details. As we can see, the transaction information is shown on this screen. I would repeat the process of clicking Go to Details for Renewable Diesel in order to add the transaction for that fuel. The last item we'll look at is the Upload Documents function, which is open by clicking this link. You will select a file, choose a document type, and add any remarks, and then you will click Upload Document. And as you'll see, the document was uploaded and will be displayed on the grid. It can be downloaded by clicking the download link, and it can be deleted by clicking on the X under the delete column. Thank you for viewing this tutorial on how to submit fuel and transaction information in the CFP online system.